Okay, uh, I'd like to call to order the uh, March 27th, yeah, 27th, 2020, uh, special session for City Council. Can I get a roll call, please? Sure. Uh, Councilperson Lenny Fryman. Here. Councilperson Tommy Roulette. Present. Councilperson Tony Abbott. Here. Uh, Councilperson Brett Bondurant on the phone. Yes, sir. Councilperson Justin Noppert on the phone. Yes, sir. Uh, City Attorney Dale Weldon. Here. Mayor Kelly Milan. Here. And myself. Okay, for everybody that's listening um, uh, virtually or by, uh, we'll be listening through YouTube. Uh, we've got two members on the phone, Mr. Uh, Brett Bondurant and Mr. Justin Noppert. Uh, in person uh, today is Tommy Roulette, uh, Tony Abbott, and Lenny Fryman. Um, and in the future, we're going to try to even do more from remote, just so uh, everybody knows. But this, we're, we're trying this today, and hopefully it'll work out okay. So, um, really, I've got, I got two small things, guys, before we get into any of the discussion stuff. Um, I'd like to get a, a, a motion to approve the August 31st overdose awareness walk that they do every year. And I just, uh, I, I meant to have it on last week's or last meeting's agenda and I didn't have it. It's I'll make that motion. They do every year. I'll make that motion. Lenny makes the motion. Second. I'll second it. Tommy seconds. All in favor. Aye. 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 Opposed. Aye. Opposed. Motion carries. The next one is uh, uh, the ALS car show that Mr. Logan Lawrence puts on uh, was going to be the first Sunday in May. Obviously, that uh, had to be rescheduled, and uh, it has been rescheduled for Sunday, September 6th. So uh, we'd already approved that, but I'd just like to approve the, the date change if I could. You need a motion? I need a motion, yes. So moved. Second. Tommy Roulette. Uh, makes the motion. Tony Abbott seconds. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Opposed? All right. Pa motion passes. Okay. Uh, the, the, the main topic for today's meeting is uh, uh, discussion on um, a, a package. Uh, I don't know if we call it a stimulus package, but a package uh, for small businesses and then also uh, I want to discuss the, the a residential piece of it as well, um, and, uh, and and get your guys' opinion on that. Um, but the, you guys have got copies of um, what we're calling the Lawrenceburg Emergency Small Business Retention Grant. Um, just so you know, um, we worked on this for about four days, I guess, and uh, State Board of Accounts has has looked at it governor's office has looked at it. it 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 coincides with everything that has been uh state mandated as far as closures and things like that um and so i would ask that uh you know i'm opening it up for discussion well most of the questions <coughs> i've had you've already answered in these two things which is great um my biggest question is how do we decide on business grants who gets them and who don't. I know it's professional, but what do you call professional? Like, I know one woman who works out of her home and she goes to houses and does people hair, people's hair. Is Would she be eligible or not? Does she have a business eligible? license? Uh, she's a hairdresser and went to school for hairdressing and stuff, so I guess she has a license. But, okay, does she? Works out of her home. Yeah. What, here, here's the thing. You know, we tried to cover as many what-if scenarios as we could. Um, people that have like a brick and mortar, a, a building, right. obviously are covered if they fit the criteria. Less than 25 employees, uh, not a national chain, um, and they're not a manufacturing industry or professional services. Uh, there's a lot of people that have home businesses, but they don't have a, a you know, they're not listed in our business directory. Yep. Okay. Um, so what we covered here in this, according to, and we, like I said, we took it from all of the stuff that the governor brought down to, to the local municipalities and things. Um, what is covered is uh, any, any small business with less than 25 employees that was 
is closed or had to partially closed due to the governor's mandate. Okay, um, that's that's the gist. We we know we knew. I mean, you're you're never going to cover every scenario. Uh, I mean, there's you know a lot of a lot of people work out of their home doing whatever. Mm -hmm. I, I could, you know, just probably could name a few other things, um, but th those were not uh, part of this. And another, another they part of it. There would be a big list of people that work out of their homes. Well, and part of the process, Councilman Abbott, is that the $3,500 amount was based on an estimate of an average monthly rental for three months. So that's why this is for brick and mortar. And utility bills. Yeah. Okay. So, so that's why this is for brick and mortar businesses. So that's so uh, like insurance companies, lawyers, realtors, doctors, dentists, they're not eligible for this. Correct. Even though they got brick and mortar here. Correct. They okay. were because they're, they're professional they're services. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I don't want to get ahead of myself on the resident things, but if it, can we hold off on that? If you're going to talk about residents. Yeah, because it's kind of, it, both oh, of them. Oh, does it does it coincide with this? Yeah, or? It, all I want to know is if the business gets a grant, do they still get the resident grant? Well, That's you don't you, you haven't heard our resident proposal yet, but because it's new, and I I don't expect you to take any action on that one today unless you guys want to. I would like to. I like to. Okay. Right well, and I, I I agree with you, but we we were. We, we had spent all of our last four days on this one, and knowing that we have to, have to do something for the residents as well. And uh, but I think I think you'll be okay with what we got for the residents. But I, I'll cover that after this one. I don't want to I don't want to confuse people. Okay. If, is that okay? That's fine. Okay. Any other questions from you, Tony? Right now? No. Nope. Unless something comes up. Right now. Your yeah, Honor. I've got. Your Honor. Will you ask them to mute until... Hey, um, Justin, you and Brett, can you guys mute your phone? Yes, sir. Thank you. you. Mute it? Yep. Thank you. Thank, uh, thanks, guys. <clears throat> then if you need to talk, uh, please, you know, unmute and go ahead and talk. <laughs> Just the mics are hot, so it'll, pay, it'll yeah. hurt the recording. Mm -hmm. I've got a couple questions. Yes, sir. Uh, one of them is like businesses here in town. What if they own two businesses? Uh -huh. Do they get double the amount, or are they just going to get one one amount? They're separate business. If it's separate business licenses, unless it's the same business working out, same business working out of two two establishments. Okay. And I'll give you an example. <clears throat> uh, Strong's Pizza, Strong Sugar Shack, two separate business licenses. They would be eligible for two because they're both open. That, that would be my my opinion. And, and another thing, guys, is, is what I want to um, make clear. Um, there may be some gray areas that come up, come forward after we start getting these applications back in. And if there are any gray areas, I will bring them to you guys before I would approve them or not. Okay. Okay. If that's right. if that's fair. Um, what about any? What else, Lenny? Well, I was, was going to say, is this going to be a one-time deal, or how often are we going to do this? One. This is one time, and where we came up with the thirty-five hundred dollars is um, is part of. Uh, we, we figured three months um, to get them through three months of of this issue, and that we figured that thirty-five hundred would cover three months of potential rent and utilities. Just a hypothetical. But the way we wrote it was they had to use it for any operational business expense, okay? Uh, because they may own their own building, okay? They may have a mortgage where they could put it towards, but, but if they own their own building outright, they would still qualify, and they can use it for any other business expense. If that makes sense. Yeah. Thank you. That's where that money, that amount came from. <coughs> That's where it gets back to my other question. Yes, sir. Well, if they're getting a business grant, are we still going to oh. do the utility bill for them? Well, I'm going to answer <laughs> that. I, I just don't. I don't want to keep. I don't want to. I don't wanna get people mixed up. Right. People are listening or us, right? Just if that's okay, if I can hold fine. off on answering that one. Okay. Anything? Uh, what other questions you guys have? I mean, I, that's about it for me. You've answered mine. 
So once we got the resolution and the ordinance, I see where we're at on, you know, how much overall money we're going to spend. That's that's what I think I will too. say to them is we're calling this just for clarification. We're calling this the emergency small business retention grant, but on your resolution and that you're calling it uh, public health emergency repayment for residential utilities and. The other one says public health emergency economic relief fund for corresponding program. Yeah, yeah. and that's just because we, when when we do the, we're gonna have to do an appropriation at some point okay. here in the next two weeks. As long as people and are the not. Fund, yeah, and the fund will be set up through Mr. Fetty's office right. uh, to be able to pay for these packages, uh, talking about the residential and this one, if if you approve both or or whatever. Good point, though, Tom. Well, I just so there's clarification. Exactly. People don't get misled. I, I hear you. That's all I'm, I'm saying. Yep. And I think, and I think uh, Mr. Allette is right on the one, two, three, four, five, six. The sixth paragraph, I will, I put, I use different language. Which one, where, which one are you talking about? I'm looking at the sixth paragraph on the ordinance. On the ordinance. Okay. I call it a public health emergency small business grant program. I'll change that so it's the same as the language that's in the application that's what so I mean. yeah, the lawrenceburg, I that. lawrenceburg emergency small business retention yes, grant that way everybody knows Thank so you. that's, that's the i'm sorry go ahead no you're good your honor that that's the uh heading on the on what we your letter had that you give us all so that is that the same yeah it's the same yeah, yeah it's lawrenceburg emergency small business retention grant yeah. okay and we could just say fund after that okay yes I'll just make sure it all matches, but thank you yeah, for that's, okay. That was all I was looking for. Thank you. So, do you Good think point. the ceiling of one million is high enough? Well, but, uh, yeah. Um, when I when I talk about the second piece of this, I've got oh, numbers done. to share with you guys. We think that this piece of it, this piece right here, is going to be uh, around two hundred twenty to two hundred fifty thousand dollars on the business grant. Fun, okay? I figured 75 businesses roughly. Yeah, and we don't know it. it right, yeah, we right. went around and did a a, 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 a a count, so to speak, and we may have missed some or, or right. whatever. It's understandable. Uh, so yes, um, so that's that's where that's where we're coming up with the the million, and I'll, I'll explain the rest of it in that. So second, the second million, part. the million includes both. Right? Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. And Mr. Mayor, Mr. Mayor, may I comment? You sure can. This is uh, Justin Noppert, so for people on the phone or, or on the YouTube. I was, just, I was just looking for, I think this is a, a great uh, grant that we're able to offer, and I see that there are some accountability measures as stated at the bottom of the application. Is that gonna, that accountability going to be provided through the uh, court treasurer's office? Uh, which, what, what, where are you talking at about? In regards to um, the, the requirement that they would apply for the SBA, the Small oh. Business Association Economic Injury Disaster Loan, and apply for available state and federal reimbursements. Who's going to decide if whether they've complied with those we, um, requirements? We are asking them. Uh, obviously, we don't want to wait for 45 days before you know if they if it takes that long to for them to apply, right? So we're going to right. take we're going to take people. Uh, for lack of, I guess, at their word yep. that they're going to do items, you know, apply for SBA economic disaster loan, apply for state and federal reimbursement, um, and those things um, in order to apply for this. And, and we, you know, our, our whole intent is to actually, you know, try to get this um, package and this, this, these dollars out as soon as possible, correct? Um, so with that said, Yes, we will. We will expect them to give us some. We would like for them. How how, how we put that? I, we would like for them to give us some kind of a a, a, a proof or doc, print off print it off off of their computer if they want. After they apply for these, both either state or federal, they could print us up print us off a copy and and we're going to have a folder for each one. Anybody that applies for this, we're going to have a folder that uh, we will be able to keep that in and then we can follow up on those as well because when we're if we're talking about 60 65 70 businesses um you know you, you always have to probably end up going back and trying to follow up with a few of them but um i don't think it will be too cumbersome mayor i got a quick question um sure. if this is approved um 
Could you kind of elaborate a little bit to the businesses, how they would go about and apply, whether they're yeah. going to do it through this office or through the clerk treasurer's office? I mean, could you elaborate a little bit on that if it's approved? Yes. Um, and, and Justin, before we uh, answer that, did I answer your question? Yes, sir. Okay, okay. Okay, yeah, uh, Mr. Fetty, uh, here's, here's, uh, there'll be two ways of applying for this. Um, well, actually, we, we would prefer that people would go out to the website, and we're going to get all this put out on social media if approved by, by council. And, and everybody will be able to go out and, 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 and pull up the application and uh, uh, also the, the process involved. Um, it's a very sim simple process. We would expect them to go out online. Uh, they could either email it back to us, uh, or if they print it off, um, since we don't have access to our public buildings, they could drop it off through the drive through uh, for, uh, for the utility office. Uh, but, you know, preferably we'd like, if they want quicker response from us, they're probably, you know, emailing it back um, would be probably quicker. Go ahead. And yep. Your Honor, if it pleases the, the council, we've been working today and we'll have finished soon, uh, not just a, an email, but an actual form on our website so they can put in the information and once they're done and they submit that, it'll be as if they signed it in person. So electronic that makes signatures. it the electronic signature. So we've created that form. That's a much easier way. And obviously that's the safest way. We definitely want to, unless you absolutely have no other option do it online don't don't come in person okay yeah we're, we're discouraging anybody come in in person that's for sure um so yes but let me explain a little bit about the process what those those then will, will come back to 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 my office uh through guinevere and what i'm asking you guys is for approval um to give me uh, approval to, you know if, if it's a business that we know qualifies no gray area let's say no gray area um, I would like the the ability then to uh, just like we do with claims I will review it first and then if, if it's approved it will go sent over to the clerk treasurer's office they can cut the check the person could probably uh, come we'd like to mail the check out so we avoid any uh, contact but they would receive the check uh, within two to three days uh, by mail But if there's a gray area in business, I come to you guys first. That's fine with me. I do have a question on number six, though. Yes, go ahead. Well, these guys, these businesses are going to be going through a rough enough time. Yep. And if they close after this, we're making them pay that back. Instead of saying will be required, can we put may be required so we can look at them individually? Well, uh, can I answer that? Yeah. Yeah. Um, the reason, well, the reason I, I was uh, saying will be uh, is because we've we've dealt with some uh, loans in the past, some loans in the past that um, had shall or may uh, in the wording. Um, here, here's where we came up with the nine months. Let me let me explain that to you guys too. Uh, we figured that the the package would uh, help them through three months, right? Mm -hmm. uh, what we're, we're asking is, you know what, um, we got you through the three months, hopefully help, helped get you through the three months, and the, along with the state and the federal monies that's going to be available to them, hopefully that'll help bridge some of that gap, uh, be able to retain their employees and things like that. But the first three months we figure we can help with on, on some of the overhead costs for these businesses. Uh, but then we would expect them, we want them to stay in business for six months right. um, because we've, we've made an investment in them. Now, if they don't, if, if they're struggling or they were struggling before, my advice to them would not, don't come and get this. If you think you're not going to make it or you, you were struggling to begin with, you know, if you want to put yourself in that position, that's fine. We, we hope you... You, 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 you thrive, and we hope you, that everybody can take advantage of this. But, uh, I mean, if I was a small business owner and I, I thought, you know, maybe I was on the verge of closing down before all this happened, I don't know that I would want to take the, the chance of 
getting a grant for $3,500 and then being expected to pay it back if they can't maintain for the next totally. nine months. Um, it, it was just a way, Tony, uh, I think we were trying to, um, to learn from some of the past, you know, and you've, you've lived this and, and know it. Uh, even with our grants, you know, there was no, uh, the way a lot of them were written, you, you, were ne you never had a way to get your money back if they didn't fulfill their side of it. And we, we're trying to make this as, as easy for small businesses to f be able to fulfill their end of it. Well, there's just a couple of small businesses down there. I'm afraid this might hurt them too bad, and they may not reopen. And I hate to see them go into even more debt. Well, but I, 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 you're right. I mean, you're exactly right. I just uh, I think we need to be consistent as much as we can, and uh, and hopefully, hopefully. Uh, the businesses that were in business a month and a half, two months ago, will be in business a year from now. Well, at least they'll be opening up in the good time of the year. The summer yes, sir. Coming. Yes, sir. <clears throat> uh, one other thing uh, I, I want to highlight on here is uh, if a grant awardee has multiple locations, including sites outside of the city of Lawrenceburg, all of these grant funds would have to be used for the site that is located in the city of Lawrenceburg. Right. Um, and we've had, we had we have some of those uh, that might be located here and maybe in Aurora or here and wherever Newport I don't know um, so anyway that that was something we thought was pretty important Mark did I answer your question yes Any any other questions regarding this piece? About the, about the phone guys. Can they hear you? I'm sorry. Yeah, the phone guys, Brett, uh, you and uh, Justin have any any questions regarding this going forward? Uh, I do not. Uh, you know, at the pace that this is all spreading, I think this is just a, a solid effort to try to get in front of everything. Of course, there are going to be some gray areas and stuff, and Know, hopefully we can uh, we get the whole that figured out as they come in but uh, for now I think this is a good place to start okay thanks Brett okay um, yes sir I'm in, I'm in agreement with that and I can actually take a um, I got a motion written up here that I think could cover everything you discussed if, if you um, if you're ready for that let me let me just uh, make one one more comment then Justin um, we, we'd like to get this started Monday um, so we are going to, uh, we've got uh, our IT provider ready to put the form and get the form out, hopefully over the weekend. Is that correct, Dale? Yes, sir. And, uh, and we'll get the, this stuff posted on all of our social media. Guinevere is going to do that this evening, along with Michelle at uh, uh, Main Street, um, and get, get these papers posted out so the businesses know what the expectations are. And things like that. Um, so, uh, if, if if nobody has any other questions, I, I will take that motion. Okay, I'd be happy to make that if if, I, if you'd be so pleased for me to do that. Yeah, uh, let me ho hold on though. It, uh, we we're going to do this in the. Yeah, we, we got a resolution and ordinance here. So how? The ordinance is what we're talking about. Yeah, just the just ordinance, ordinance right now. So yeah, ordinance. This is going to be done in the. In the uh, form of an ordinance did you get did you guys get that online yep. justin yes okay um and it would be number five this is ordinance number five yes five dash 220 five dash 220 or 2020 <laughs> i'm sorry 20, yeah 2020 yeah so i don't think we'll need to motion uh justin we're going to do it in the form okay. of the ordinance um, what we're going to ask for in the form of a vote is roll call vote at the end of this so for people that are on the phone and, and such. But um, So I would, uh, I would entertain a motion to approve ordinance number 5-2020, and I would also uh, say that we will do this, uh, adopt if it is a unanimous vote tonight, uh, and then move forward with this as, as soon as possible. Can I get a motion? 
I'll make a motion. <clears throat> Lenny Fryman makes a motion. Can I get a second? Second. Tony Abbott makes a second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Can I get a roll call, please? Uh, yes. Uh, Councilperson uh, Lenny Fryman. Present. Yes. <laughs> a yes or no? Yes. Oh. Yes. Thank you. Count, right. <laughs> Councilperson Tommy Roulette. Yes. Councilperson Tony Abbott. Yay. Councilperson Brett Bondurant. Yes. Councilperson Justin Nobert. Yay. Okay. Motion carries 5 0. Thanks a lot, guys. I, these uh, small businesses, I'm sure, will appreciate this. And, uh, and you guys uh, deserve uh, recognition for that. That's for sure. So we Mr. appreciate Mayor, does that. This, this Yes. Does this ordinance um, give you the authority uh, right away and uh, to allow you to, to make those decisions, and um, or do we need to kind of bring it, um, bring this back to where if there are gray areas that you're going to come to us? You know what? So, I, I, good point, Justin. Um, I think what I'm going to ask for is a, a motion to um, to give me the authority to to treat these like a, a claim, okay? And I will I will approve those just like I do claims. And send them directly to the clerk treasurer's office for payment. Uh, but in the case of a gray area on a business, I will come back to council and get approval before anything uh, goes forward. Can I get that motion? Would you uh, also put in that you give us a list of any of them that you turned down? Oh yeah, I. If if the only way I'd probably turn it down is if it's a gray area or it fits in those three categories. It was professional services. But I will, I will get you guys a list as that happens. Okay. Certainly, certainly. So moved. Okay, second? Second. Okay, for, uh, motion was by Tommy Roulette, second by uh, Tony Abbott. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, uh, Mayor, Mayor, real quick, um, just so I understand this correctly, that uh, we don't have to bring these claims in front of the council at the next meeting or whatever. These are these are paid immediately. Now, uh, just just a quick note with that right there. I am at very limited staff over there, so probably the earliest that any of these claims could be would be next Tuesday. And uh, how would they pick up the checks? Uh, would out. was you, we would just mail the checks out? Yeah. And probably Tuesday would be the earliest that I could do, get any of that accomplished. Good point. Um, Anyway, let me finish this vote then. Opposed? Motion carried. Mark, uh, I'm sorry. To answer, no, that's fine. <laughs> to answer your question, though, uh, yes, I mean, since we're on limited staff, um, my, my guess is we're going to have a, a pretty big onslaught of this. These come in probably the first two or three days is, is my guess. Um, is there a way we could maybe do a round on Tuesday and then maybe a round at the end Thursday. of the week? Okay. Tuesday, Thursday Good. would be okay. Good. That's good. Okay, thank you. But yeah, Tony, I will get you a list if any of them come in and they, you know they automatically fit under that category and we don't approve it. Yeah. And I also get you the gray areas. Just email me mine. Sure will. Save the paper. Sure will. Thank you. Okay. Um, and we discussed the, the second piece of this is for residents. Um, we, we thrown around a few things and and what we came up with and, and I don't know you know I, I want to hear your guys's opinions and discussion and things like that um, we're looking at residents only here okay residents of Lawrenceburg um, the best way we could figure to help our residents um, would be to forego a couple of months of utility bills um, what does that mean? Okay, um, we already know eight, the, the, the bill that people get in April is already going out Tuesday. It's really too, too late for us to stop that, okay? And I, I know, and Dell, we all have talked about this. We know people need, need help now. We get that. But what we're, we're going to suggest here on this one is that we do not have them pay a utility bill in May the month of May and the month of June. So they will get the utility bill they're getting in April, okay, that goes out Tuesday, which is due April 15th, all right? After that, May and June would be paid by the city, 
two utilities, and I'll explain that piece because we got to do it legally and by the state board. But and then they wouldn't uh, then have a, a bill due until July fifteenth. Is this every resident? Every resident under utility our utility uh, just resident, not not business. Right, I understand that. Okay. So that, that may answer some myself. of yours. That answered my question. That answers your question, I think, Tony. But I have one other question you might, if we, we could add into there, sure. I think maybe. Uh, we're going to pay their May and June, right? Yes, sir. But this month they have to pay, and that, and these people have already been hurt. I get now, it. can we not shut their electric off if they don't pay, but we, make a payment agreement with th them? Yes, and there, there's all, and I talked to our utility folks about that. There's already that option out there. Yeah. And but they can, we can they can take advantage easy, of that if, if we can make an easier one because they they won't have to pay for the next two months so we can stretch it out a little bit to make it easier on them. Yes, no, we we're working. You know, we it's 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 we are we have not we're not shutting people off right now. Okay. Okay. During this time, but we we you know I think that was the right decision for everybody to make. Um, the second piece of this. Yeah, I wish we could have caught it before April's bill uh, or April's billing going out. But uh, so I get that. Um, what we're asking people though is, if you can, you know, we we still have to run the utilities, and if you if you if you can pay April's, please pay it. Uh, we are gonna we are gonna help you with May and June. Um, now, what that's gonna look like, we've got we've got 30 days to figure that out as far as how how their bill is gonna look. And I'll work, we can work with utilities on that. Uh, but what this stimulus piece would do is uh, give people two months of free utilities. Now, how does that, you know, this is ratepayer money, so you, you, you just can't use ratepayer money to do this, all right? So that's where this, uh, when we were talking about a, a million dollar package, um, that would include this that we would have to do through MDF. We've talked to state board. We talked, like I said, with the governor's office to make sure everybody was okay with the way we're we're doing this. We would have to do an additional appropriation, okay, out of MDF uh, for this fund, and and then you know that stuff would it would be paid out of that fund. We're estimating it at a million. We think it's going to be less. Uh, we think the utilities, uh, you know, will be less than than what we are anticipating. Um, but that's, we, we think that a million will cover it. <clears throat> for clarification, this is a million, <clears throat> excuse me, for the utilities plus the 3,500? It, it, it should cover both. Okay, that's yes. a clarification. Both the, both the businesses okay. uh, package and the residence package. Okay. Yes. Um, um, well, go ahead. I'm sorry. Well, no, go ahead, Tom. One other thing I would, and I'm just questioning, how would that go for residents that live in apartment buildings but do, do not have the utilities in their name because that's the way they pay their landlord? Well, they, they should be, you know, if the landlord's getting it and, and, and they're reimbursing the landlord, they, they should be able to get the landlord to say, hey, you, yeah, we can't, all we can do is whoever's name it's in and where the bill goes currently is who would get reprieval from that. Hopefully they would pass it down. I mean, hopefully everybody's in a mindset right now. If, if they're getting something for free, then pass it down to your, your tenant. But are they not considered a business? No. No. Because Apartments? they have residents no. living in their establishment? Yeah. Because most, I would say, and I, and I could be wrong, but I believe most apartment uh, buildings, uh, people have to come in and get their uh, utilities in their name. So I, I'm it'll, sure. it'll help all the residents more than, than that. Yeah. And, and listen, hey, Mr. Mayor, yes, sir. I, yeah, there, there are, I know that there are, especially with the older properties and uh, multiple units in a lot of these properties, there are a lot of landlords who offer utilities included in their rent price. Yes. So it, there were, I think there's going to be a little bit larger percentage than you might think okay. of those circumstances where the, where the, the landlord will have the utilities built into their weekly or monthly cost of the rent. Right. Well, and, and if they're not, uh, you know, I, like I said, we we can only address the people that are getting the utility bill. But my goodness, I would I would uh, plead, I would ask. I mean, I think everyone up here and on the phone here 
would agree that these these landlords should give these people the same break that they're getting. Agree. But yeah, I'm in, agree yeah, I'm but, in agreement with that. But but you know, Justin, like, we we can't force it. But my goodness, uh, I'm sure uh, if I'm if I'm renting from somebody and they're I know they're getting free utilities and they're not passing it on to me. Um, I, you know, social media has been used for other things too. So. Sure. I mean, I, I, I could just think of, you know, pretty complicated, you know, measures as yes. far as just some of the landlords that I know that have properties around that do that, whether it be weekly or monthly rentals, that, that could be really confusing. And, yes. um, you know, some of these, you know, I think as Mr. Roulette. Has... Uh -oh. What's that? Let me miss it from Mr. Roulette because unless he's moving around. He might be moving. Are you guys on there? I, I still am. I think we lost Justin. Yeah, um, are you guys, can you hear me? Now we can, yes. Yeah, sorry about that. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. That's no, okay. I just know it can be complicated for some of these different, there's other companies that have company names and they have tenants and they, yep. they do part of it. You know, it could be all or part of the utilities, you know, are included in their, in those rent rates. Right. Leases. So right. Just, I just want to make people aware of that. Yeah. I, is it, would it behoove them to pass that things down if they were getting that benefit? Absolutely. Well, and we hope they would. I mean, it, 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 like I said, you know, we, it's hard to cover what every what if scenario, that's for sure. And, uh, but we think we're going to be able to, to gather the majority. Um, and I hope it ends up being, you know, even, you know, closer to a hundred percent, but obviously there will be, be some people that don't adhere to that that's for sure what other questions you guys have about this i i really didn't expect you to vote on this today because i you guys hadn't seen anything but if you guys if if we can get through the questions and stuff i'd like to roll them both out at the same time if we can i agree with that yeah any other questions justin uh brett on the phone uh no questions just I mean, just to kind of backtrack to the uh, the small business proposal. I mean, I, I'm not sure if there are any, you know, uh, black and white right answers right now. I think this is a good effort to just try to stay in front of it and, you know, try to help uh, the community out a little bit. So okay. uh, I'm in agreement with with get rolling rolling a vote through. I think, uh, you know, I think a lot of people could benefit from this right now. And uh, as far as the, the landowners or the landlords, I mean, I think everybody is in agreement that, uh, you know, kind of trying to help your neighbor right now. So hopefully that gets passed down the line the way it should, and uh, I like it. Okay, thank you. Anybody in the room? I, yeah, you're saying we're going to pay them April and May's? No, May and June. May and June. That's in the so resolution. the people that owes their bill, is there, I mean, if they can't pay it by the month, that, the whole month at one time, being times are so hard, can they add it on to the, the the months that we're gonna gonna let them have free, or can they take it a little longer there's to already, pay for them? There's already programs on there there that they can apply for to uh, uh, what do you call it, rent relief or uh, utility relief, I believe, on online uh, if they need a payment plan or whatever. Uh, people, you know, if they can't see the the the, the, uh, the bill that's going out on Tuesday is for April fifteenth payment, okay? Mm -hmm. for people if people can't pay that they'll have two additional months of no utilities where I would hope that maybe maybe throughout those three months they can get that bill paid mm -hmm. yeah that, but we won't shut them off oh no no okay no we're not no um, mayor just to clarify this I know that part of the utility bill right now includes some, some people some people have the fiber mm -hmm. have we uh, are is that part of it or not part of it or well uh, as you guys made the, the change from um, making the fiber a city asset and not a utility asset at what two meetings ago I believe or so or however many meetings that was we've had so many um, we're only making it utilities electric water and sewage but great question because I know people are paying their fiber on their utility bill um, we will say this: fiber is still expected to be paid by the pe by people. 
Okay, thanks. Good point. We're going to give them reprieve on electric, water, and sewage. Any other questions? If not, we got a resolution here that we can pass tonight right. for this piece. What three. number? 3-2020. Three. Three is that correct, Dell? That's yes, Mark. yes, that is correct. Here. This is Mark's what we, on it. This is not an ordinance. This is a resolution. Resolution, yes, sir. Okay. This is a resolution of the Common Council of the City of Lawrenceburg, Indiana, to authorize and direct the public health emergency repayment of residential utility building. Billing. Billing, billing. Um, I would entertain a motion to approve resolution number 3 2020. I make that motion. Lenny Fryman makes the motion. Second. Second. Tony Abbott seconds. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes 5 0. Thank you, guys. I, I, think I, do, I do have one small question. Though. Yes, sir. We're, we're going to spend up to a million dollars because we got approval from the State Board of Council yep. and the governor and all that. If it goes over a million, do we have to go back through that approval process again, or can well, we just automatically do it? We think we think we've got some uh, some money in the budget that we can, like we're going to have to until we get the uh, uh, appropriations done. We're going to have to use like rainy day uh, to pay these for starting next week. You know, if we start paying the thirty five hundred out, and then we will re uh, reimburse the reimburse the rainy the day when we get the fund established. So yeah, I think we're gonna be fine, Tony. I, but I, I don't know the answer. We probably have to go back okay. and, 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 and reappropriate, but if, if indeed it's a lot more, but we don't think it is gonna be. One other quick question. Yes, sir. Are we going to uh, notify the ratepayers in their utility bill of this? Is that how we're gonna do it? Yes, we are going to do that. We can't. What we're going to do is send out a separate mailing. Okay. Because we can't get it in the Tuesday gotcha. one. I got you. Yes, but we are going to send out a separate mailing explaining what we're going to do, and uh, and so hopefully, hopefully that'll calm down a lot of the questions and stuff. Uh, Will you be announcing this on radio? It's going to maybe. Or well, actually, it'll. Today? It's going to go out tonight. Great. It, it, we, we're. In anticipation, if you guys pass these, we are gonna, we're going to get it out on the social media. We're going to get it out to our website. Um, it'll be sent to the radio, sent to the Great. newspaper. Um, I can obviously go on the radio tomorrow and talk about it. I'd be happy to do that. Um, you know, listen, you know, guys with anything, um, there will be criticism, and then there will be a lot of people that are very, very – thankful and excited for this well i was going to say there's a lot of them out there worrying well, right now about their electric bills and stuff they and what they're going to do and it's a it's a legitimate legitimate worry and uh just to hit on one other thing um uh, been talking to mr gailey um for day every day for the last probably week and a half and i think some of you have as well but uh he knows that we are here to help with whatever we can to make sure um these kids in the community get get fed and, and things like that he said if he needs to reach out he will so uh, we may have to come back to you at some point and ask for some help but um, I think we're I think this is a, a, a huge step in the right direction I've been working on it for a little while and you guys you guys know I've been letting you guys know uh, bits and pieces trying to put it all together and I think we we landed on something that you guys should be proud of I think you guys will you guys did a great job of doing this tonight. You did a good job because I had a list of questions to ask you, and yeah. you answered most of them. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad I did that. <laughs> glad. So, uh -huh. anyway, we are going to also uh, we're going to get the the YouTube posting of this meeting posted uh, uh, as a, as soon as we can instead of waiting, so people you know um, if they're excited or about wanting to tune in, they can go ahead and pull it up. Great. All right, I don't have anything else. Comments from the audience? No, sir. <laughs> no, nobody in the audience. <laughs> anyway, uh, thanks, everybody. And uh, can I get a motion to adjourn? Hey, Mr. Mayor, can I make yes. a comment real quick? You sure can. Hey, I, I just want to make a comment because I've been talking to um, our local health department, and, and one of my deep concerns, and I think I've expressed this to you in the past, and I think it's worth the public hearing, 
is um, just the lack of awareness of some of the COVID cases that we have in the area. If you look on the coronavirus.in.gov website right now, it puts us as four positive cases. Um, Ripley and um, I think it's Decatur County around us both show about, well, 14 and 21, 14 Ripley County, 21, 26 Decatur County. Um, and then I'm not sure the other county they're joining us, but Franklin. Um, obviously having a horrific tragedy yesterday with, with the death of one of our one of ours here at our hospital. Um, I, I just think it's, it's it would be helpful if the community was made aware. Um, I have spoken with our local health department uh, with uh, Mr. Grace, Mr. John Grace over there, and he's referred me to some other resources in regards to um, our Dr. Scudder, who is, I guess, our health department's um, doctor. Yes. Um, he actually gave me his telephone number to reach out to him, and also um, Mr. Mike Hankins, who's the health board president in our area. Um, I just want to encourage you other councilmen and you, Mr. Mayor, and whoever else to continue to um, ask for that awareness to be made so that um, people in our area would begin to take this seriously. Um, obviously, we're taking some drastic measures on the government level, the local government level, but I also think we need to take drastic measurements on our, our personal levels and our interactions um, to comply with the um, the mandates. The hunker down, the, who, the Hoosier hunker down, and the six feet um, social distancing that has been mandated by our governor. So I just wanted to be on record in stating those things and encourage all of you guys to continue to articulate that to your constituents and um, continue to ask questions if we're not seeing transparency coming from from some of these sources that i've mentioned well thanks for that justin a point well taken and i yeah we you and i had talked about this and i i i think everybody here agrees um it, it doesn't it, it hasn't got it, i don't think it got real for a lot of people until it starts hitting home and um you know i I got a call Tuesday night, uh, a friend of mine I worked with for 25 years at uh, Monsanto passed away Tuesday from this, and uh, um, he certainly will be missed. But uh, And then another childhood friend of mine from Oldenburg, Indiana that I grew up next to uh, also. So it's real. It's real. And uh, point well taken. Thank you for that. Okay, guys, I'll entertain a motion to uh, adjourn if we didn't already do that. I'll get this right this time. I'll make the motion. Second. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? <coughs> Opposed? Motion carries. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Gee, look